Hello, this is David Hale with Tech Dive TV. Today, we're taking a tech dive. Into what? Into how to convert your wireless network back to wired. Why would you want to do that? <laughs> well, perhaps you have an old smart TV that has to be plugged in to the internet through an ethernet cable, no wireless. And you want to move that set into another room because you got a brand new set that uh, it's bigger, better, smarter, and has wireless. But in the new place, you know, what are you going to do? You have no place to plug in the Ethernet, so your smart TV is no longer smart. Or perhaps you have a printer. It's not a wireless printer, but you want to move it to a new location. And no network port. Well, you could install network ports at a great cost and a lot of effort. Or you could get what's called a game adapter. This is a game adapter. This particular one is a Linksys game adapter. Um, what happens is it has on the back of it one plug because it reads the wireless network in your home or office. And this port plugs in an ethernet cable and then plugs it into your device. So you can configure this two different ways. It also has a front where it has the, the lights that tell you where it's working or not uh, and status and such. If your wireless network has what's called WPS, meaning it can configure itself for wireless work, this has a WPS button right here. Okay? If your network supports WPS, all you have to do is plug this into the wall, press this button, and plug it into your device, and you will have converted your wireless network back to wired. This is an excellent device. Costs them anywhere between $59 and $79. Most of the network makers make them. D-Link makes them. Netgear makes them. Linksys makes them. Um, Belkin makes them. Uh, if it's not called a game adapter, it may be called a wireless bridge. So you should get yourself one of these just in case you need one. I haven't. I used it for a while for my phone system. I have an UMA phone system. So it's a voice over IP, and I wanted to put it in my kitchen. So I had it in there, but I moved it, and no, I don't need it anymore. But I'm gonna use it for something else, I'm sure. Always a good thing to have. A wireless game adapter, or a network bridge, it's called. Wireless network bridge. So, look into that if you need one. This is David Hale for Tech Dive TV, taking a tech dive for you. Have a great day.